Welcome back, everyone. We're picking... Well, I went back because I decided to move my base into this security area and observation room. Also, I grabbed all the stuff from inside that flat hill to up to the area where I stopped. And you can label chests. And I put everything down here. Also... <clears throat> I've made this my farming room. This is storage and cooking. And that's a one full of radioactive crap. Ugh. Bad. Just just bad area. And here's my crafting area. And also I picked up the uh, arcade machines. And then here's my storage area for building and stuff, but so you can shut this. But it only stays shut for so long. But if I build a controller, I can fix it, which is this one. So I need to build that. I was not made for this heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, controller. There we go. <coughs> Let's repair. So now I can control it. That's good. Good, good, good. But now, there were a few other things I wanted to do. I wanted to build I was the, not the rest of my armor, heat. which is this, the armor, the leg wraps, and then I need the arm wraps, uh, which are these, craft. So now I have better armor, and I have a th increased uh, carry weight. Is there anything I need to grab? I should... There's nothing really I need here, so let me get back to Flathill. Be right back. Welcome back. Okay, now that we're back to where we were... Uh, did I already look at these? Yes, I did. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and here's a recording. Dr. Mance reporting. On the advice of Keystone, Gate has established a facility here in Flathill. We judge it unwise to advertise our activities. So for the time being, our presence is, uh, necessarily clandestine, if not a bit syrupy. <laughs> the location was selected for the convergence of certain geomagnetic forces that amplify the power of our perforation equipment. We stand poised on the brink of an entirely new technology. I'm convinced of it. Okay, so you screwed over this entire town for your little screwed up science experiment? <clears throat> okay. Okay, well, called the elevator. There's the elevator. Should probably use this. Ooh, that's just so bright. Well, it's not dark, dark, so I don't think I need this because on the lights are a little blinding right now. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, it saw me. Uh. Come here then. Okay. You can't get me. Go away. There we go. Okay. That's how we get through there. But now that I've done this, I need to get through it over here. Which is... That door's locked. Okay. Well, I think I can parkour it. Okay. So if it doesn't see me, I'm fine. Okay, well... That was dangerous. Final one. <coughs> However, there's one thing I want in here. Let's 
show you that once I get back to my house. Or I can just show you here. It's a composer replica, so it's a figure. It's really nice. Go away, leave me alone. Once it walks by me here, I can leave. <clears throat> okay. There we go, now that I got the figure, I can get out of here. Oh, that's just a quick escape way. Okay. But now that I have the final power cell, I can go and get into manufacturing, I believe? Uh oh Okay. Okay, I didn't have to jump, thankfully. Where am I? Who is she? I'm 83% sure we're doomed. You'll have to forgive my colleague, Abe. Oh. He's had a bit of a shock. We tried to get out through Flathill, and, well, some people died. Of course! Then, some genius <coughs> activated the composer containment system. Uh... So, clearly, we need to find another exit out of here. And that's looking like manufacturing west. Okay. I don't exactly enjoy the idea, but our options are limited. So I screwed them over. Janet, what are we going to do? We're going to head through manufacturing, then take the surface tunnel out of here. When you're ready, Abe. So, just try to calm down. Manufacturing? It's huge. We'll never make it. I told you, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I missed you guys' escape pathway out. Because I really did. Okay. Oh, nothing that way. Or that way. Okay. But I wanted to get in here. One minute, let me take care of some. <clears throat> Welcome back. Now we're going to explore the silo entry and storage area. I don't want to fight him right now. But he'll be an issue later. What's that door up there? I don't have a keypad tube access. Okay. Okay, so I walk around here. Okay, so there's nothing really important up here. Toilet. That's nice. But not really anything I need. Uh, I saw this. Dr. Derek Mance, Cascade. The first instances of IS-064 appeared barely seconds after our first successful perforation event. It appears to exude a fog or mist that has overtaken Flathill entirely. The surviving residents have been evacuated and a cordon established around the town, citing a chemical spill. The residents, not to mention our counterparts in the EPA, are less than impressed. Uh. But the knowledge we already gained, even in this short time, is beyond value. So this is out here and... Oh, yeah, so this is the area where I... Okay. Oh, another one. Private note. It's <coughs> that operations at Cascade are being monitored by external forces. 
This much, the Cascade Executive Committee have been permitted to know. Exactly who has been infiltrating our communications, and to what ends, remains unknown. Or rather, those who know, refuse to say. I've been directed to tell my team that we are conducting some security drills, but the threat seems quite real. Well, that's not good. Hmm. A shortcut, I guess? Oh! Go away. Okay, so there's nothing there. <coughs> That's where the first perforation leads me to, down in there. Okay. So this is Silo 2 Lounge? Oh, that's where I went in to the, that, oh, the map, the map, the map. Hmm. Fridges are always nice if you look at them. Sometimes they can contain uh, potatoes, which are used in cooking. that I can actually put this in here because I don't really need it uh, let's take this put that there so I can jump 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 oh there's a guy here it's not my fault I work on power cells not portals they take them into silo 3 and I never see them again Oh, this is worse than last time. They say evacuate. How are we supposed to do that? Well, follow the exit, I guess. Let's reload. <coughs> Just so I can increase my accuracy. Oh, there's not one here. I see one. Go away. That was a horrible play. Oh well. Okay, now we're traveling through the vents. And... Oh, this just leads us to... Okay. On the other side of the sparky water. Okay. Oh. That was horrible. <clears throat> okay, so crack tiles make you fall. Okay. Okay. Well, this one obviously didn't break. However, I don't trust this one, so... Let's put that there. I was right to not trust. Now, where does this... Crap. Ugh. Okay. Wait, and all it did was take me... Uh, Okay, well that was... Welcome back everyone, sorry for that interruption. The game crashed, so yeah. 
We were over here, we went up there last time, but now... Not much in here either. Except for this right here. What does it say? Blue keypads. Uh, you may have an issue in offices. The new security bots are walking security holes. I would learned, just learned from Mayfill they carry access data everywhere they go. Anyone who gets their hands on a CPU from one of the security bots could hack through any door in the sector. I appreciate the concern for safety, Richard, but we were confident in our security procedures. Someone would have to get into the facility to access the bots in the first place. And the, at that point, bigger problems. Yeah, so the blue keypads I can hack and an infrared emitter. Xers, I doubt it's a surprise to anyone but these A2 entities are pretty dangerous. We analyzed the specimen you brought back. They're smart, but we can't tell if they're actually intelligent yet. Kathy runs MCC tests, though it's hard. Their bioelectrical systems are off the charts, and they keep frying our equipment. Also, we need an actual name for them. Xers? I, I've clarified this before. A2 is not Planet X. It's not even just a planet. I don't know why this nickname is still hanging around. Folks, it's Xer. I found them. I get to name them. Mance agrees that this is fair rule. Begrudgingly, no doubt. Probably. Ah, the thing I hunted. <clears throat> Nightlights. Derek, I need any information you have on IS that looks like glowing floating lights. A sort of will-o'-wisp. I'm sure you know the one. It seems to react to glass or something. We don't have anything in containment like that. Bridget, I spoke to Dr. Riggs about it. And she hasn't encountered anything like it either. Let me know if that changes, but don't mention this to anyone. Oh yeah, the anomalies that float around. But now, I'm going to get us back to the guy with the forklift to get into manufacturing. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. Before we go into manufacturing, there's one more thing I need to do. Uh, I need to... I want to start using this gun, so I need to go into weapons and ammo. The security pistol. Perhaps I'm getting a little too flashlight thermic. And the security pistol. So you just put a flashlight. What? Craft it. Okay, there. I just got out of it. I should too early. probably locate a restroom. One minute. Okay, welcome back. Now, <clears throat> to get in. Raise that door. There we go. Okay. Now that we're manufacturing. Well, I can't get through there right now. Ooh. Oh, I can make a... Uh, defenses for my house. I don't like that noise. Can't open that. Well, that's uh, way down. I can't go. Okay. Ugh. Growing yellow barrels with glowing green liquid. Looks scary. Can't get in there. Stay quiet. They'll hear you. Okay. At first, I thought it was an accident. Those creatures everywhere. But mm -hmm. then these terrorists came, hunting us. Now I don't know what to believe. What do they want? If I can just get to the blacksmith, he'll know how to get out of here. He's wired into this whole sector, and his forge is a fortress, so he should be safe. I think. I'll open the door for you now, but I'm telling you, they're shooting at anything that moves. B, 
Be careful. Okay, just great. Maybe the blacksmith knows what happened to Freak and her team. Last I heard, they were down in the mines. Then the radio died, and all this started. The quakes destabilized everything. If the synchrotron down there has been disturbed, it could blow this place sky high. If we survive this, our high energy research will have been set back months, maybe years. And all the people that have died. Seen Frank? I don't know if she made it out or not. They're hunting us. Okay, Why? that's. Mm. Who are they? Oh. Okay. Anyways, I think we're just about at the end. Yeah, this is gonna be the end of the episode. This has been an episode of Abiotic Factor. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps the channel grow. It's been nice being with you. See you later.